Hello everybody and thank you for joining us on this video adventure for day one of Chihuahua. So in day one of Chihuahua we started out our adventure at the Tijuana airport. So let's check in with us at the Tijuana airport and we'll go from there. Starting off our adventure very traditional here Denise with Johnny Rockets hamburgers and onion rings. I don't know. Looks very Baja to me, right? Very Baja. <laughs> oh well. Apparently Johnny Rockets is a thing in Baja, so that's what we're doing. We're doing hamburgers before we leave. Well, we're here at our gate, which is gate 10. We're just waiting for them to load up, but we'll see when that happens. Right now, we're just playing the weight game. Valara's boards in groups of three, and we're group three. But it doesn't really matter because we have pre-assigned seats, so whatever. For our plane flight, we selected Valara's, which is a discount air carrier here in Mexico and it was cheap it was only like forty dollars round trip per person from tijuana airport to chihuahua boarding is pretty easy we had our ticket on our phone just a little barcode like any airport and just waiting in line to get to our seat well we're in our chairs now we are now about to take off looking at the hangers out here Looks like a gas station over there and the border you can see that very distinctly over there and looks like military defense over there too so kind of interesting to look at the different hangers so looking out the window there i can see just below i don't know if you can see it really well just below the fedex building is a plane called the global ambassador plane it's that blue striped plane there and that plane has been here for like 20 years now um, the story on it is it was flown for global um, peace missions out in the Middle East. The guy who bought it was a church guy, but he couldn't pay his bills. So it's been sitting there for like decades now, just kind of out there because they he didn't pay his fuel bills. And so Mexico won't let it fly away until he pays up. But the guy doesn't want it anymore, so it's just there. Also some other interesting, there's a Estafeta plane. I don't know what that plane's from. Never seen that one before. So very interesting. And a very old Volares plane out there. Mostly Volares jets in there. It's a bunch of wide open space. The flight there. from Tijuana to Chihuahua is not too bad. It was only about an hour and a half. As soon as we got up, we were landing already. There was a lot of wide open spaces there in Chihuahua. Coming into the airport, the airport wasn't that big, but it wasn't the smallest airport that we've ever seen either. Um, inside, you can see the facilities were small, but they were adequate for the number of flights. It is an international airport. Flights go out of Dallas to Chihuahua to here, so that makes it international. Waiting for our DD taxi out here. It's gonna cost us 100 pesos, which is like uh, $5 to get to the center for a 22 minute ride. And it's 6.41 and it's a beautiful sunset out here. Yeah, we are here at the Quality Inn in downtown Chihuahua. Checking in. At least the lobby part looks nice. We'll check out the room in a little bit. They have an elevator, so that's a good sign. This is our room. This one is mine? Yep. It's got a little area here for your suitcase. I can put my piano down there. Up, oh, bathroom. bathroom. There's toilet. Nice little shower. Overall, it's clean. So we are here at La Pascualita, and the legend is here. She's not there, she's out for renovations. But this is the spot where supposedly the haunted uh, lady is. It says here in 1930, the mannequin came here, and it was so real, and like her poses kept on changing without the people changing the rest of it's just a nice beautiful store with wedding guests you can see a quinceanera over there so that's kind of interesting there's a beautiful quinceanera yes but the original mannequin is out denise uh, tragic tragic she didn't get to see the going to la casona which supposedly is one of the fanciest places in chihuahua and we're not very fancy so hopefully they'll let us in i don't know we'll see Hopefully there's no dress code. 
because both we both it's a historic house here but most of them are so we'll see um hmm. you think we just open up that door very nice building Okay, gracias. We were way underdressed in our t-shirts, but that didn't stop me from buying the ribeye steak. So what they do is they take out the bone and then they put in cheese and it was delicious. Oh, and there's the two colors. Need the medium. Bueno, bueno. Top of cheese. Okay. There you go. Very nice. Super nice one to eat it with, but I'm sure that's good. I'm sure it's one of the fanciest restaurants in Chihuahua, and she just ordered broth, which you can Not get. Not just. I had a really fancy soup, and now in addition to my really fancy soup, I'm also having broth. It's for some kind of merit badge she's doing. Yeah. She's got this mountain merit badge, and so she challenged mountain herself. Woman. Mountain woman. And so she challenged herself to drink broth every day for a week <laughs> so i gotta finish out my two weeks okay two weeks finish out my two weeks okay there you go well that was basically it for our first day in chihuahua um hope you enjoyed it we just went to we arrived in the plane we went to the hotel we had a fancy dinner looked at a scary mannequin and then went back to the hotel please join us for the next video and we will show you some churches because it'll be a sunday video where we visited some of the churches here in Chihuahua.